Hi, it's Jack Sinclair at referralcamp.com. Today I'd like to talk about website basics, which means going and getting a domain name and some web hosting and getting it all set up. It's as easy as pie when you know exactly how. <laughs> Just before we start, I want to show you a little uh, outtake, little problems that happen when you're recording at home with children. Welcome to Referral Camp! <laughs> yeah, those are the kind of things that can happen when you have kids around. And yes, I've got little kids and I'm just a regular guy. So don't ever expect that you've got some guru here that, you know, gives you hype and fancy cars and stuff. Just a regular guy with lots of websites that make a lot of money. And I just want to show you the tricks. Okay, so with the uh, websites, I'm going to show you how I do it. And I think it's the best in the business, but... Some people might disagree. I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Okay, first off is I don't actually uh, do any domain name purchasing unless I know uh, the name of the website. The research is showing that the domain name affects your rankings and traffic. So I do some keyword research and then I find a, a keyword which I think is very useful for a domain name. And then I go to a website called nameboy.com. And you'll see I've just popped in the name Gopher here. It's just an example. And you can put in hyphens. I don't recommend that. And rhyme. I don't recommend that. Because keywords are keywords. People don't type in misspellings and rhymes and hyphens. They don't do that. Okay. So at nameboy.com, you simply type in the keywords that you found from your keyword research. It could be two words, but often it will be one. Uh, either works fine. One or two keywords. Click the Name Boy Go Boy button and it's going to go off and look for stuff. And what the white check marks are is everything that's available. You'll see there's going to be lots of interesting stuff. I always look in the com section. No one ever types in net org or info unless they're clicking a link. Go for the comms. And we look down this list and I, I find use gopher. So my keyword was gopher, and I'm just going to pick use gopher. Now, don't actually check it. That's a, a big mistake. Never check anything at Nameboy. This is just a tool to actually find available domain names. If you ever click and continue with many of the domain registration companies, they will go and pre-register the domain name, and if you ever change your mind about buying from them, you will not be able to buy it. They will buy it and own it and try and extort money from you. It's a common practice and be very careful. So when you go to Nameboy, just look at the list of what's available. Use Gopher is our target. Use Gopher and then we go over to a domain registration company. I would recommend GoDaddy.com or uh, Namecheap is the other one. I, I don't really use Namecheap too much because GoDaddy has a very powerful advantage and that is when you register a domain name with uh, web hosting, what happens is it becomes instantly available on the World Wide Web. And so when you're doing something like a product launch or an affiliate launch, a new product comes out and you have a list and you want to have a domain name for it because you know a bit about traffic, something we teach you at Referral Camp. Well, you want to have your domain up on the website as soon as possible. And GoDaddy is the only guy I know of which you can register a domain and have the domain listed and everybody able to visit it in five seconds. So I, I use them. What you do is get yourself an account. And I've already logged in, but I'll log in again. GoDaddy is the best place to do it. But there are many places that do reselling, actually selling the GoDaddy service to another name. So if you see other websites with Danica Patrick here, or his wife, the other girl, then you might want to buy from them, but it's all GoDaddy. Okay, then we say domain name search, and we type in the name we found from Nameboy. Use Gopher. And we say search. And, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> it's available. That's the magic of Nameboy. It is available. Okay. And you scroll down, and you don't do any of this other fancy stuff. Just go down and click Continue. 
It'll say, hey, do all this stuff. You always say, no thanks, continue. You don't want org.ws.crap, none of that. Now the domain name. Pick one year if you're just playing around. And if you don't pick one year, pick five years. And we'll get into that later, but five years really helps with your search engine rankings. The search engines will know you're serious when you buy many years of service. So pick five or ten years. But one year is what we'll do for this example. Okay, right below this you'll see name servers. This link is magic. You must click this right away. You'll bring up all these boxes. And this is the information that you got from your web hosting service. Now, we've already set up web hosting already. But when you buy the web hosting, preferably from HostGator, because they are such a, a good company, both with uptime, the websites are always available, and service, when you have a problem, they usually respond within 10 minutes. Like It's just incredible how fast they respond. So HostGator is where we put almost all the hosts that we have, all the websites. And they provide you with a name server. And name servers normally start with the letters NS, standing for name server, and then the letter 1 and 2. So we're going to type in the name servers they sent us. Go click, and then go NS1, and then the domain name they gave us. And NS2, and the domain name. they gave us. And then you scroll all the way down and just click no thanks. If you don't click no thanks, they're going to give you so much stuff. Click continue. You must click no thanks and I'm ready to check out. All the other stuff is not really needed once you know what you're doing. They charge too much and it doesn't work too well. Okay. The other option is once you're here, and you notice the price is quite a bit lower. That's because when you join GoDaddy, there's an option if you want to be a member and get a discount, you can join a club and get this really good discount. So seven bucks for a year. The other thing I like to do is click private and click update. Sometimes it's cheaper when you do it this way and it's never cheaper if you click private on the other side when you first register the domain name. So five bucks. And that's the subtotal, $13 for one year. Highly recommended, because if you don't do that, your name gets published and all the spammers start to hit your email address that's listed in the directory. And you'll end up trying to do some spam blocking or delete the email account. And it's just no fun. Click private and they won't know the email address you have registered. Nothing else. Don't pick anything else. Promo code if you have it. And then click how you want to pay. It should either be credit card, PayPal, or a PayPal account on file. I've got an account on file because I buy hundreds of domains all the time. And we'll click that. And then you must agree to the agreement and the terms of service. And then you click checkout. You'll note by doing this, there's no pages of buy this and domain tonight and email hosting and all the crap. You know, we said no thanks and it just comes up. Okay, and then we pick the account, and from there, you go to checkout. I picked PayPal, so there's no credit card, but you simply click checkout, and let's watch it. 